Hey there guys and welcome back to my podcast. I am Savannah from Crocheting Savvy and this is my channel. This is my second podcast so I'm still figuring things out with this and the recording situation because this is not my thing at all. This is me out of my comfort zone and I'm also using my phone. So, you know, pretty basic setup here. Alright, um, if you did not watch my first episode, I would love if you would go watch that. But also, um, a little bit about me. I am 24. I am graduating with my master's in library and information science in May. So my life is pretty busy with finishing up school and assignments and everything like that. Um, I live in southeast Tennessee. So, Southern, sorry if you can't understand me, <laughs> um, but also, I started crocheting in college, so about six years ago now, and I fell in love with it, and that's pretty much why this is. I love it, I want to share it, I want to connect with more of the knit and crochet community, and I just want to, you know, share myself and my love of crochet and plants and dogs and reading. So, um, all right, let's jump right into what's been happening since last time. First up is going to be what I have finished and I did finish something. I finished the Sea Star Oceanside Beanie by Melanie from Sea Star Crochets. It is absolutely a gorgeous pattern and so fun to work. But unfortunately, I made it a little too small for me. Or actually, it might actually fit. I don't know. I'm still deciding on it. So let me know what y'all think about this. If it looks good and if I should keep it or not. But it is such a lovely pattern. It is worked with single crochets and half double crochets. So really simple. But the hat itself is worked mostly in the back loop of the half double crochets. And a few rounds, like right here don't know if you can see it, or worked in the third loop of the half double crochet, which I had never done before, but it was so, so interesting and so cool to see how that changed the texture of it. I mean, looking at it, you think it is really a difficult pattern, but it's not. Melanie and her patterns are incredible and I love her so much. So if you have not checked out any of her patterns, I'm going to link her Instagram below. She has an Etsy and a Ribbler, so I will try and remember to link those as well. So this is what I have finished. This is the only thing I have finished. If you remember from the last episode, I said I'm working on a test for a sweater, and I have done so much work on that, but I still am not sure if the designer would like for me to show you what it is yet but it is a really fun pattern to work on it's kind of a choose your own adventure where you choose the body style and the sleeve length you want so i'm really happy what i am choosing right now and i can't wait to finish it and be able to show you but on to the whips I have not done anything on my Coraline shawl. Uh, the pattern is by Tony Lipsy, uh, but I look forward to getting back to that. I just, I haven't wanted to work on it, so I've not been, and that is something about me. I work on stuff when I feel like it. So that's why I have so many, so many whips. Let's put it that way. 
uh, the socks I mentioned last time, since it had been so long since I had worked on them, I decided to check the fit since I had already done the heel break. And surprise, surprise, it was a little bit short and a really stiff sock. It was not giving me much leeway to move it on my foot. So I wasn't really in love with the pattern after being away from it for so long again. So I just ripped it out to the toe. And I had had this idea of what I wanted to do with a sock anyway. So I've just started freestyling and writing down what I've been doing, of course, so that I can share it with you guys when I'm done. But this is, I've ripped it back to here, and this is what I have worked since then. What I am doing is the top of the sock, which will be on top of the foot. I've been doing a mixture of half double crochet and chain spaces with uh, spike stitches, crossed spike stitches. It's kind of hard to see with this solid color, but I'm trying to get y'all a good look at it. Come on. There we go. So you can see, like right here, these are the crossed spike stitches. I have some variegated sock yarn that I will um, try and work this up with as well later. But the bottom of it is just plain half double crochet. But I'm really enjoying how this is working up and turning out. And I am hoping to be able to finish it and write it up to be able to share it with you all so that you can work it if you want to. Uh, so, yeah, first sock of the set. Thankfully, I did not have to rip out a second sock because that would have just devastated me because crocheting socks and fingering wet yarn is a really slow process. I'm learning to love it. I am learning to love it. It makes me want to learn how to knit even more, though, because there are so many beautiful knit sock patterns, but like I said in the last one, something about knitting just does not click with me. So we'll see if I ever get there. I forgot to mention last time, but I have this bag of advent leftovers from two different advent calendars from this past December, and I am planning on making a corner-to-corner -corner scrappy blanket with these. I have a couple patterns I'm looking at. I've not started one yet though because I want to try and get through some of what I already have planned first, um, but <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see when that gets started, but I am planning on that. But I also would love some pattern recommendations from you guys on, on patterns for mini skeins. I have um, a set of six double uh, DK weight mini skeins here from Lofty Loops Yarn. I love her yarn. Her yarn is gorgeous. I got one of her advent calendars last year and it was just the most, the most beautiful fade advent I have seen that is not just a solid one color palette. It was gorgeous. I need to show you what I made with it in just a minute, but I need a recommendation on what to make with these. I also need to recake this one because I thought I was going to do something with them a few months ago and decided to cake this one up and I never did. And it's kind of just lost its shape. <laughs> so I'll need to recake this one, but I want something that'll show off all these amazing colors 
because she does wonderful variegated variegated skeins they always turn out so beautiful So if you have any recommendations for something that'll work for six DK weight mini skeins, let me know. And just a second, because I need another recommendation for all these, if I can get it open enough. I have a whole bunch of Sorella minis in here. It's a couple of different um, mini sets and I need some pattern racks. So if y'all have any, let me know. Those are fingering weights. Um, and lastly, yesterday, I caked up one of the Hobby Lobby skeins that I showed last time in preparation for making the iris scarf light and I will hopefully be filming a tutorial for that very soon because I have it on my blog but I haven't filmed a tutorial for it yet so I will get there hopefully next week so I'll let y'all know when that comes out um I also got these adorable crochet hooks from um, Tony Lipsy's TL Gone Crafts D stash on her website earlier this month and I cannot wait to use them because they are so colorful and fun and the handles are kind of squishy so they won't I'm thinking they won't hurt my hand as much if I crochet for a long period of time like I like to do and I believe that is all I have for today so if y'all have anything to ask or comment or suggest just leave it in the comments below don't forget to follow me on instagram at crocheting savvy i'm also on tiktok at crocheting savvy and i have patterns on my blog crocheting savvy.com and in my ravelry and rippler shops see you guys see you guys next time happy crocheting